Welcome back to the Diplomatic Encounter. If you have just joined us, we are a program that cuts across pertinent issues in diplomacy and international relations. In the previous segments, we talked to the Malawian Ambassador to Zimbabwe, as well as the Honorary Consuls of Belgium and Cyprus regarding business opportunities between Zimbabwe and their various countries. We now talk to the Malaysian ambassador regarding the matters of business opportunities between Malaysia and Zimbabwe. Well, the embassy uh, continues to be engaged in uh, uh, getting Malaysian private sector to refocus the attention uh, to Zimbabwe. You know, the Malaysian business people were in Zimbabwe in a big way about 15, 16 years ago. And once the hyperinflation era set in, you know, many of them uh, looked at other other parts of the world, so yeah, and, and to to help us uh, to to in this effort to get Malaysian uh, business people to relook into Zimbabwe. Uh, last July, we set up the Malaysia Zimbabwe uh, Business Network, and uh, has a platform as a business to business platform, uh, so that uh, you know we could get uh, the interested Zimbabwean business people to 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 interact with the. Uh, suitable Malaysian counterparts and uh, essentially what we need, what the network needs is uh, a clear, a succinct uh, and a specific uh, uh, expression of interest in exactly what is it that uh, you know, Zimbabwean business people want to do in, in Malaysia. Even if you're not, uh, you've not actually thought, thought it through, maybe even just an idea, but be specific about it, uh, send it over to the network or to us at the embassy. Uh, we look at it and we'll uh, co contact our people back home in Malaysia to see how best we can uh, uh, match this, uh, this uh, requirement or to get like-minded people to buy into the idea and then get the initial communication uh, up and going. And uh, then, it, then it'll be time for, for a face-to-face -face meeting to happen. And at the embassy, we are facilitating uh, a possible business visit to Malaysia by members of the business network, perhaps you know, after the second half of this year. So that's what we have been up to the last uh, couple of months. Uh, th you know, there's so much of things to do in Zimbabwe, and, and, and we, in, in Malaysia we've got expertise uh, across the board. Uh, you name it, we've got it. Uh, so you know, uh, we're looking forward to this uh, uh, air of optimism that's been uh, uh, you know happening in, uh, or rather, going on in Zimbabwe since uh, late November last year. I think the mood is right. Uh, His Excellency, the President, has. Uh, said it over and over again that uh, you know Zimbabwe is open for business. Malaysia has been open for business as well a long time ago. So I think with these two, uh, you know, uh, uh, with this situation pre pre prevailing, the, the mood is right, uh, and I think the, the mindset is also right now in the sense that many people feel that all the impediments were, which were in the way of business is now taken away in Zimbabwe. So I'd, I'd like, likely urge, uh, like to urge uh, Zimbabwean business people to, to take the opportunity and not to, uh, uh, to overlook Malaysia. The Malaysian ambassador to Zimbabwe said that his embassy is encouraging Malaysian business people to exploit investment opportunities in Zimbabwe. Yes, uh, this is something that the embassy hopes to achieve in, the year, in this year, 2018. It's definitely in our, in our business plan. And uh, as I mentioned, the, the Malaysia Zimbabwe Business Network uh, was established last year with a view of, uh, you know, facilitating these exchanges because the visits have to come, have to happen because, you know, uh, there's a lot of bad press against Zimbabwe out there. The only way for, 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 for Zimbabwe and for your business people and government to, to dispel all this is for, you know, to, to, to receive delegations, uh, visiting delegations so that they, they can see for themselves uh, what is it actually uh, situation is on the ground here in, in Zimbabwe. And of even last year, when you know, uh, where we still have small groups of Malaysian business people going up and about, coming in, coming out, and everybody who I've interviewed, even just before they leave, have expressed, uh, you know, uh, have expressed their views that it was beyond their expectation. They never expected that they'll have such a pleasant stay in Zimbabwe. That Zimbabwe was like this; that it was safe to go uh, up and about. And there's so much of you know uh, talent here in Zimbabwe. So we look forward to to, to bigger groups, more organized groups. Uh, perhaps the Malaysia Zimbabwe Business Network uh, here, once they do their uh, inaugural visit to Malaysia and get those people there sensitized and uh, you know made aware of you know the existence of so many opportunities here, then we look forward for, uh, for a written uh, uh, visit by a delegation from Malaysia. 
So we, we we're not going to target all the big boys and, and all that because the big boys, the bigger they are, they need more more assurances and more things on, on the ground. And you know they're going to be uh, they're going to be assured by a lot of statistics and so on and so forth. But if you look at the Zimbabwean economy, which is uh, ninety percent informal, you, these things are not going to be captured by all the statistics. So you need to we we are going to focus on on the small and medium in, uh, plays, the SMEs. So. Malaysia is a vast market for halal products, so the Malaysian ambassador to Zimbabwe invites all players in the meat industry to exploit this investment opportunity. The halal business is a good business. You know, there's so much of market in the Middle East and even in Northern Africa. Or well, let's just say halal meat. Let's just say halal beef. And you know, a Zimbabwean beef does not need introduction to the world. At one time, you were you were exporting this uh, excellent Zimbabwean meat. You know, to, to, to the world. This is something that you've got expertise, you can do it here locally. All you need to do is make sure you get the right certification, the right halal certification and for that even Malaysia is well positioned to, to, to provide this consultancy on, on how to get your, uh, your, your, your beef supply, the sub entire supply chain halal certified. And once you've got this halal certification, like Malaysian halal certi uh, certification is recognized worldwide, then you, the, the sky is the limit. You can export to all the Muslim countries in the world. So that is one area, if you ask me, is a low-lying fruit which uh, Zimbabwe has yet to, uh, to take advantage of. You've been watching The Diplomatic Encounter. Hope you found this program to be informative. For more details, visit our Facebook page, that is The Diplomat Zimbabwe. Or you can watch our YouTube channel, The Diplomatic Encounter Zimbabwe. Or you can WhatsApp us on 0718-438-270. Or you can call us on 0772 692 915. Until next time, God bless.